GP. Now they had a bit of a break since the last race and a lot has happened behind the scenes. Um, now this Grand Prix, not much happened. The Dutch Grand Prix that is. Um, there wasn't too much uh, exciting things to talk about other than the fact that uh, Bagnaya once again um, dominated the weekend. How bloody good is that? He won the sprint and he won the Grand Prix and he actually won it dominantly uh, three and a half seconds clear of Jorge Martin um, who is no easy feat for sure and uh, Inia Bastianini uh, finished third place. Now I want to talk about him because he's one of the movers of 2025. Now he had a fantastic Grand uh, weekend overall. He actually was quite fun to watch. Uh, he made the most moves he did rather well. Um, and he will actually, um, I say that because he's going to um, Gas Gas K KTM, uh, the Tech 3 squad, um, with uh, Vinales next year. So that's going to be very interesting. Um, even more news that we saw was uh, the announcement of Mark Marquez officially going to the Ducati factory team alongside Bagnaya. Um, Alex Marquez uh, got announced today. He'll be staying where he is at the moment. Um, and, uh, in turn, and also, as we said earlier, um, Pedro Acosta is going to Red Bull KTM with Brad Binder and which in my opinion, um, I don't think, um, Jack Miller will be ending driving, uh, sorry, riding in MotoGP next year for sure. In my opinion, um, there is still heaps of drivers yet to be announced yet. So keep an eye out for that. But, uh, very interesting moves there. And of course, um, Prima Pramac will be using um, uh, Yamaha next year. Um, so that will be rather interesting for sure. Of course, they've had a 20 year long partnership with Ducati. So that's another thing. So that'll be very interesting to see how they go next year. But um, we're yet to see uh, the driver announcement for that one. But uh, let's go to the present time. Um, like I said, there's not too much to talk about other than the fact that Bagnaya uh, dominated once again. Um, the only things we really saw was um, actually there was a cool battle for the top for the fourth place uh, there in the Grand Prix uh, between fourth and I think eighth. There it was really cool, um, but uh, it was in favour of uh, the G Antonio in fourth position, uh, and then. Vinelli's in fifth for Aprilla, Brad Binder in P6, and then we got Alex Marquez in seventh place there, ahead of uh, Fernandez. Uh, Morbidelli is in ninth, and uh, Mark Marquez is tenth position there. Now he actually ended up finishing, I think, fourth or fifth on the road, but he actually got a 16-second penalty um, for t low tire pressures, um, which is unfortunate for him. Um, and he had a terrible weekend overall, I reckon. He crashed out in the sprint, unfortunately. I think he got a penalty in qualifying. I could be wrong. Um, but, yeah, just an overall and average weekend for him. Jack Miller, as we mentioned before, he actually finished 11th this time around. It's good to see him there, but definitely not where he belongs because we saw what Brad Binder can do. Um he was pretty much nowhere all weekend, Jack Miller. Uh, he was sitting 17th and 18th around there. Um, definitely not where that KTM should belong to. Um, and then uh, Quattararo is 12th ahead of Zarco. Fernandez, Oliveria, uh, Nakajami, Nakagami sorry, is in 16th ahead of Marini. Uh, and unfortunately, Pedro Acosta crashed on lap 25. Um, unfortunately for him, uh, he's still got a bright future ahead of him though. Um, no stress with there. Murphy, uh, unfortunately crashed out on lap six and, uh, Bezek, uh, on lap five and, uh, Alex Rins, unfortunately, um, didn't even finish the first lap. Uh, he, he was the first one to crash, actually. He crashed on turn one. Uh, and you probably heard, you probably noticed that 
uh, I was missing someone. Um, Spargaro, um, unfortunately, crashed hard uh, during the sprint race, and unfortunately, he uh, opted. He, he looked like he was in pain. Um, of course, he's had a back injury from memory. Um, he's a, he actually decided to sit out of the Dutch Grand Prix so he could recover a lot quicker. Um, which is a smart move on his behalf because that was a nasty hit. He kept roll he rolled for days. Um, and of course he is retiring at the end of the year with Jorge replacing him. So having a look at the championship standings after the Dutch Grand Prix, Jorge Martin still leads. He's only 10 points clear of Bagnaya. So he's getting ever so closer now. Um, it's going to be a very tight fight to the end there. Mark Marquez is in third place, 142 points, uh, with Bastianini, uh, in fourth. Then we've got Vinali is in fifth, Acosta in sixth. Um, fortunately he lost a position there. Uh, then we've got Brad Binder in seventh with, uh, Giantonio in eighth with Espargo, uh, ninth. Well, unfortunately, like I said, couldn't race this weekend in the Grand Prix. Uh, Alex Marquez is 10th. Uh, and let's have a quick look at Jack Miller quickly. He's in 15th. So like I said, he's only got 32 points compared to Brad Binder in 99. Maybe we could see Brad... I'm sorry, Alex. Uh, who am I trying to say? Jack Miller. Maybe we might see him... Um, in a different team. I don't, I highly doubt it. Maybe he might go to the Australian Superbikes or he might just call it a day. Who knows? But regardless, he does not deserve that ride. Uh, and on that note, that is actually the end of our show. I do apologize. It is rather small this time around, um, given it is just me. Uh, if I did have Alex and Nevada, we'll be rambling on for days, but uh, we'll be doing that next week, of course, when they uh, when we discuss all the action from uh, round three of the Formula RX-8 series. So stick around for that next week. Um, and if you did miss the, re the earlier part of the show or you um, want to check it out again, you can go to our Spotify um, for the full episode or go to YouTube. We'll be posting um, these this show in segments. Keep up to date with our social media. Um, like I said, we do live streams. Uh, we do watch-alongs. We do live podcasts on our TikTok and YouTube. So be sure to tune into our social media and stay up to date with our Instagram and Facebook and stuff where we tell you when we're doing that. So you can join in, ask questions, and you will be featured in our podcasts. Um, and uh, be sure to subscribe and stuff if you haven't. Um, and uh, once again, thanks for Radio Italiana for providing us, providing our show once again. Uh, it's always amazing being here in this amazing facility um, and uh, hope you all got, hope you, everyone has a great rest of their weekend or sorry great rest of their week and uh, hope to see you next week for some more motorsport chit chat uh, my name is Daniel and of course you can find us on Let's Talk Motorsport everywhere on social media just search for the Let's Talk Motorsport with the yellow icon and uh, I'll catch you next week bye for now